muchachos, e muchachas, hi. Yes, I got more lighting so it doesn't look like I'm filming in Dracula's castle anymore. So anyway, I wanted to talk about this video that I saw floating around on social media. It is, I uh, believe, based in Sydney, Australia, where a resident who is rightfully outraged points out this really disgusting mural that was painted in a very busy part of the city. It was of a fat, hairy man wearing a gimp suit, wearing a childlike teddy bear head. Look at this. Bro, we're in Wynyard, Sydney. At what point does inclusiveness pass too far? You got a fat man that's naked in a gimp costume with a cute teddy bear hat right in Wynyard. Now tell me this, maybe you can say I'm exaggerating, maybe you can say I'm too much, but at what point is it too far when you're walking down the street with your kid and you, the kid looks at a cute teddy bear hat and relates it to a man in a gimp suit? At what point does it get too dangerous? You tell me, if we keep letting them push the boundary, they keep getting worse and worse. I think this is disgusting. I think this is like Balenciaga vibes. What do you reckon? And see, this is a very big problem that we need to continuously be outraged about because this is becoming more and more proliferated in our society to the point where there are actual people that are defending this type of stuff, talking about, you know, oh, kids talk about their naughtiness and this and that. I mean, it's just crazy to me that there are more and more people that actually take to defend things like this. I wanted to take a closer scope into, you know, the graffiti artist, Scotty Marsh, and, uh, you know, who commissioned him to do this type of work, as well as a very curious person that he's associated with hold on to your butts secure your wigs stay right there we're gonna go through it really quick i'd like to thank the sponsor of this video lower carbs guys there was a study conducted of about eleven thousand people where 46 percent of those people were found to not have enough protein in their dietary intake I personally love protein shakes because they're fast, easy, and tasty. It's keto friendly, easily digestible, soy free, gluten free, and no GMOs. You guys can get it at lowercarbswithnatalie.com. Okay, so I showed you guys the video. I'm just gonna kind of play it uh, while I'm talking, but you know, this is becoming more and more of a proliferated problem in our society worldwide. This resident is rightfully outraged because like I mentioned in my intro, this is a very busy part of Sydney, Australia, where, you know, parents are walking around with their children. In fact, there is one photo that I found from the TikToker that actually exposes, which is Moe Reacts. And you can see a little girl walking with her stuffed animal looking at this gargantuan mural of ab abhorrent disgusting degeneracy uh, like I'm trying to find like the worst words to describe this because it truly is that I wanted to take a, a dive into who commissioned this work what, you know what what were they thinking what was their explanation and the people who are defending this including the graffiti artist so this was actually commissioned by a group called YCK Laneways. Now, it's basically a collective of, you know, these restaurants, bars, boutiques, things like this. And I think like every major city has these little pockets of entertainment areas. And so once again, mentioning that it's very busy with all types of families and children, right? So... The graffiti artist, his name is Scotty Marsh, and he uh, describes this mural as, you know, originally having a Vladimir Putin face instead of the teddy bear face. And uh, the, the Vladimir Putin, I guess, pitch says, have you ever tasted a white Russian, uh, of course, over this like real life photo of the real man, um, the real fat man, hairy man with the gimp vest or whatever. Um, and it, 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 the thing is like, whoever was commissioning Scotty to create this piece 
actually didn't i don't know i mean I, I think the whole vladimir thing was weird too but they were like hey we don't like it so can you change it and so they decided all right we'll change it into a childlike teddy bear head and so yck laneways agreed and you can see it here that YCK Laneways was even proud of the progression of this whole entire thing. Uh, they posted this on their Instagram, you know, of the mural being built and painted and all that stuff. Now, the Daily Mail actually uh, outreach to YCK Laneways, and this is what they had to say. YCK Laneways is an inclusive precinct which becomes and celebrates a variety of communities and subcultures from across Sydney. Daily Mail. Okay, um, and here's the thing, like it once was where, you know, adult adults were doing adult things on their own time bef behind closed doors. Now, what is becoming a problem is that it is right on our streets, okay? And you've seen this with children attending these festivals that are intended for adults. Parents are bringing them to these things and where you, you see, I mean, you've seen this. You've seen pictures floating around on social media. For instance, I remember there was one of like a pup play uh, type of guy with a gimp gear and like a mask of a puppy and stuff and bending down to say hi to a little girl. And it's like, what is going through the minds of these parents? Okay, so to this comment, it's increasingly disturbing that these spokespeople from YCK Laneways is basically saying, well, we, we, by their words, we include everybody, a variety of communities and subcultures across Sydney. Okay, let's talk about the culture that we're looking at right here. This is a BDSM mural of a fat guy with a you know a teddy bear hel helmet or whatever a, a head whatever so are you telling me that these very fringe communities that are celebrating this merge of childlike things uh, 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 the idea that children need to explore naughty natures you know you're saying that you're inclusive of that because that's where it becomes normalized that's where they're trying to seep it in from so I actually took a look at Scotty Marsh's uh, Instagram where I found this. It was like the third photo on his Instagram current day. Today we're talking uh, on February 23rd, 2023. Oh, two, two, three, two, three. Cool. And as I found, there was this third picture of his friend, the fabulous Wonder, Wonder Mama, Posing in front of what I believe, yes, it is his work of a angel wings, rainbow full of dinglings. Okay. Why does everything have to include your genitalia being paraded around in the public? I don't understand. Why do you have to do that? Right. And this is why, you know, including people like gays against groomers are against all this stuff of being like so pervasive uh, out in, in, in culture and normalizing these things. Because it's like, guys, this is stuff like if you're into that, like I, that's not my jam. OK, that like I, I would prefer that not be in our society be so pervasive like that. But if that's what you're choosing as an adult, do that behind closed doors. Why does it have to be painted and paraded and you bring children to these things? OK, so back to the fabulous wonder mama. This is a drag character by the name of Rennie Rakan. And I found on his Instagram, the fabulous, fabulous wonder mama, that this Rennie Rakan actually has a, a couple books published that are aimed at children. And he actually had a Kickstarter for this endeavor, at least for the, uh, what is it called? The Fabulous Story of Wonder Mama Illustrated Storybook, where he says by his own description that this is supposed to appeal to kids and adults alike, okay? So I, look, Okay, this this drag character. Okay, once again, you're an adult. You want to do stuff that you know I don't necessarily agree to. You want to do stuff like that? Do it behind closed doors in adult settings, right? But you're over here posing in front of angel wings made out of dinglings. Okay, that rhymes. I didn't mean it for for it to rhyme. And then you're gonna go and you're you're gonna write child book like that doesn't look right to me, right? That doesn't look that collides. It it's it's very unnerving.
So update, since I was already going to begin to edit this video, I actually saw an update on Scotty Marsh's Instagram, where I don't know if word got around, maybe it was my thread, maybe not. Uh, but he's basically defending his uh, dingling wings where he's saying like he's done it for years and people take pictures in front of it and all these things. And he ended with this little statement right here where it says, the outraged go through my Instagram images and start deeming existing works blast and destroying them. It's nothing new. Thanks to everyone who has taken the time to send me messages in su of support. You are the wind beneath my <laughs> D wings. Okay. And then there's, yes, there are people who uh, already followed him that are like basically singing their praises, saying that he's basically stunning and brave for painting male genitalia in a busy part of the city and that they love them. Now, Shout out to this king that called it out where he says homo colored D's on the wall for all kids to see. Putrid is the word. Shout out to you, King. Thank you for calling it out. Yeah. And the stuff that's the thing. That's what I'm talking about. Like people are going to defend this type of stuff and I'm going to meet it with the same sort of force. It's disgusting. It is putrid and it shouldn't be put in public for the world to see, including children. So as you would expect, people are backlashing at Scotty Marsh and telling him as it is like, hey, man, this isn't cool. Like we respect your work. And I looked at the rest of his work and he is a very creative graffiti artist and does really good work. Right. But it, there's a point where it does cross the line and people are expressing that in his comments. Hey, man, this wasn't the best. You know, you have the, you have really good work, uh, you know, usually. But this is just the wrong vision. Like you should not be doing this. And, and this is what makes me so angry is that when people are telling you about yourself, you decide to go the narcissistic route and, you know, try to defend your stance until the end of it, right? So he posts this carousel of pictures of the project and he posts the definition of bear, which I'm going to assume comes from Urban Dictionary, where it reads, a term used by gay men to describe a husky large man with a lot of body hair. Doesn't make it right, okay? Doesn't make it right. You're, if you're talking, like, if you, okay, fine, you want to have slang for your know, gay slang or whatever, okay. But how does that get interpreted to childlike items? Okay, like you don't have to merge that together. That's why people have problems with this. And the Aussies are not having it whatsoever. People actually took it in their hands to cover up this mural as it should be, I think. Like it should have never ever existed out in the public. Uh, there's a big sign that says leave kids alone. Uh, I believe someone also spray painted leave kids alone. And you know, and it's pushback. And a lot of people actually got mad about this. There was one comment that I saw that I just, I had to just highlight because this is the thinking that these people have that defend, they call them allies, right? That defend this debauchery. So this woman, yes, a woman of all things says, do any of you SEX obsessed weirdos remember being a kid? Like, wait. <laughs> SEX obsessed. This is literally a fat, hairy man wearing a gimp, a gimp costume. Okay. What is that? That's not associated with grocery shopping. You're, you're associating that with something, some sort of culture. Okay. So how is this that these people are SEX obsessed? It's literally in the mural. So she says, do any of you SEX obsessed weirdos remember what it's like being a kid? Do you really think this mural would somehow F you up? No. They're, okay, first of all, uh, and here's the thing, like 90s kid, this stuff wasn't, this stuff wasn't out in the open like that. I remember being a kid and I was a very sheltered kid, by the way. And if there was anything like shocking, I remember being shocked. This was not of the norm. So I don't know where this person is getting their thinking or memories from. So do you really think this mural would somehow F you up? No. To kids under 10 to 12, it looks like their bogan uncle wearing a bear mask. I'm sorry, but if any kid is growing up with an uncle that is wearing that gimp suit, wearing 
a ch childlike teddy bear, like as a as a, a helmet or whatever, you need to call the authorities. You need to call the police immediately. They need they need their devices seized and examined immediately. No uncle should be doing that. Okay, it's like. And, and part of me is like, did you have that childhood? Is that what you're talking about? Is that why you're reacting the way you're reacting? Because this is very weird. Okay. And by the time kids are 12 and up, they know quite a, a bit about SEX. And that might be true. Okay. Depending. I mean, once again, I grew up very sheltered. Uh, there were some educational conversations, but not like this is SEX shoved it in your face. You know what I mean? Like, it wasn't like that. It was like, hey, look, this is what happens. Birds and the bees type of thing. Like, watch out. Don't do this. Don't do that. You know what I mean? So it's not like, that's not my personal childhood where things were just shoved in my face. And if anybody had a child childhood like that, like, like I, my, I, I feel bad because, you know, that wasn't your choice. But once again, this is not normal. The boys are probably already getting into any P-O-R-N they can get their hands on by 13, 14. The guys in my school are stealing and sneaking their dad's dirty mags by that age. Does no one remember their childhood like at all? Look, lady, I don't know what type of childhood you had, but this is not normal. OK, and this is this is not normal. And a lot of people did respond back to her in which, once again, the culture of or the, the attitude of narcissism, the narcissistic state of our society would have it where people like this are just readily defending their stance, which is a bad stance. And see, I wanted to mention uh, this observation that the TikToker made was that this is very Balenciaga-esque. And we all know the whole thing that blew, uh, t that that uh, popped off around the holidays about Balenciaga. And it's like, it's not a conspiracy. It's like, yeah, this imagery seems to be a trend for some, whatever reason. So there's this really clever thread that uh, exposes this teddy bear thread. So they mentioned the mural and uh, then they mention you know, the Balenciaga bears. And then they continue on with, you know, other parts that have been uh, exhibiting bears as some sort of it seems to be some sort of symbolism gucci actually had it which by the way guys i have a completely different take now i uh, i'm gonna make an amendment video on the gucci take i apologize for my take because i was wrong okay i thought that it was a, a bit of a reach um, but the more and more that I see this, I'm like, okay, you know what? I, I was wrong and I'm not, I'm have no problem admitting when I was wrong. So I apologize for that take. Um, but now that I see the consistency because it was like Balenciaga and then it was, you know, Gucci and then it was Benetton. And then now this, I'm like, you know what? I was wrong. So I'm going to make an amendment video to that. So then Gucci had the whole teddy bear thing, Benetton, as I mentioned there, and, um, you know, uh, there was additional things now. So, you know, this is a very good thread, you know, covering that type of stuff. Um, and, and it's, it's like, it's not a conspiracy. These things are visible. We are seeing, seeing it and, uh, and observing this with our own senses. So if anybody gas, it's, it's a gaslight. If the media or particular individuals are like, oh, you guys are just overreacting, then you're gaslighting me out of my senses because this is stuff that I'm actually observing. Guys, let me know, especially those of you that are from Australia, let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, I'm so glad that people were actually uh, vocal about this and are taking a stand in Australia. I think I read uh, somewhere that there were police looking for the vandals, which I'm like, really? Y'all are, y'all are actually pursuing the vandals in all of this? Like not the people who commissioned all this like you need to once again go cease their dis devices and have them examined so anyway guys let me know what you think in the comments below uh thankful for those that speak out i'll catch you guys in another video i'll catch you guys in another video party time excellent jesus loves you Bye bye <laughs>